My name is Evan Fulgus, and I'm going to be talking about things you always wanted to know about WordPress uh, but were afraid to ask. And I actually have to apologize to you guys because I had to make a few slight amendments. I was talking to some people today and, uh, and also yesterday, and I realized I was missing a few slides. Uh, the first thing I want to go ahead and mention is what is an API? It's a term that gets thrown around a lot. There's a lot of uh, APIs in WordPress itself, the database API, et cetera. Um, when we're talking about an API, if you're not familiar, think of like a soda machine. When you're interacting with a soda machine, uh, you walk up, you put a dollar bill in the soda machine, you press a button that you know, gives you a soda. That, that's an interface that's designed to allow you to interact with this machine. And that's exactly what an API is like. But it's, an a, but it's this interaction for software. So if you want to interact with Facebook, for example, via WordPress, use an API to do that. And really, if you just kind of have a mental model of there's an interface that lets you talk to a machine, that's where you are. Another term that I've heard a lot that I don't know that uh, is, is quite as familiar to everyone is uh, accessibility. Um, and when, you're, when you hear people talk about accessibility, what they're really saying is, you know, there are elevators in this building. When you want to go upstairs to get lunch, you can take an elevator or you can take the stairs or you can take the escalator, but it's convenient and it's accessible to everyone. The web is not like that. So accessibility is really about making elevators for the web. Just if that hasn't already sort of come across, I know there's been a lot of talks about it, but I wanted to go ahead and throw that out there as well. And with that, uh, what is WordPress? So WordPress is a database. It's some PHP, it's some files. And at this point, we could be talking about Facebook. We literally could be. I mean, Facebook is nothing more than PHP, a database, and some files. But the thing that makes WordPress WordPress is there are rules sort of how everything ties together. And one of the most, in my opinion, one of the most important rules uh, in WordPress is this thing that's called the template hierarchy. And I'm assuming you guys can read, so I'm not gonna even try to read from my slides because that's boring. But when we're talking about the template hierarchy, what we're saying is there are rules in WordPress that if you're on the front page, load this template. If you're on a blog post, load that one. If you've never heard of the template hierarchy, it's one of the best, it's the, literally probably the best 15 minutes you'll ever spend just reading over how that thing works. It's quite remarkable and it really helps your mental model. Uh, another thing, hooks. You guys may have heard people talk about, hey, there are these hooks and there's two different types of them. There's actions and there's filters. This is gonna take a little bit more time, to be honest with you. The, the difference between the two is actions do stuff and filters modify stuff. Filter, you know, if you come from a database background, filters seem like they maybe get rid of things. Like I wanna filter people out of this room and you know, it, you think that they get rid of things or they keep things from happening, but they don't necessarily do that. They just modify things. And there's some great, uh, actually a fellow who's here, his name is Otto. Uh, it's not actually his name, it's his handle. Samuel Wood, I believe is his name, uh, who has a great example of when to use a hook, or I'm sorry, when to use a, uh, a filter versus when to use an action and, and sort of how to keep that you know, straight in your mind. Read this article. It's, it's a fantastic article that should, you're probably gonna have to read it like you know, five or six times to really wrap your mind around it, but it's worth reading. So another thing is, um, WordPress, I mean, it's just a database. It's some files, it's some PHP, big deal. And there's these rules. The thing is, if you were to print out all the rules, just, just the hooks alone, just the, you know, literally, here are your actions, here are your filters, it'd be about 50 pages. Which is why I want to segue into what is doing development with WordPress. It has nothing to do uh, with actually knowing all of those 50 pages of document. I mean, that's why the documentation exists. We need to read it. As developers, we have to go there and, you know, make sense of this stuff. And one of the things I've noticed, being a developer, is when I walk into a room, sometimes people are like, oh, I could never do what you do. That's not true. And if I could dispel any one thing today, it's that literally everyone in this room could be, should be, maybe, you know, if you want to, contributing to the code of WordPress. It's actually, it's not that hard. You really can do this, and you really should give it a shot. It's quite fun. Uh, it really is not about knowing everything on the planet. It's understanding that there are a couple of rules, the template hierarchy, for example, that you've got these hooks, and then it's about getting in there and just building stuff and trying it. And that's where, you know, everything that I've said up until this point has not been an opinion. It's all been, you know, this is in fact what WordPress is. This is in fact what the template hierarchy is. And now I'm gonna go sort of into opinion land. Please, you know, bear this in mind. This is an opinion. Uh, but when you're building or when you're trying to get into developing with WordPress, I really think that one of the best ways to do that is to use something called VVV, which is called, it, it stands for Varying Vagrant Vagrants. It's so difficult to say. <laughs> um, 
the, the nice thing about it, if you guys have ever tried to install WordPress on your computer, you've maybe read an article about, hey, go use MAMP, go use XAMP, go use WAMP, and so forth. It's incredibly painful. And you read this blog post and you're like, oh, it's a five minute install. And none of us do it in five minutes the first time. It's like a five hour install maybe. Varying Vagrant Vagrants is, is probably the coolest thing you will ever find. It literally just works. And you'll be up and running uh, within minutes. You'll be able to start developing WordPress on your local machine. Uh, with that, I guess two notes. Um, what now, I've got some suggestions for things that you could do to start getting into WordPress. I mean, again, what are we talking about? We're talking about a database, some files, some PHP. You can get it up and running on your computer very easily. And you know, it's, it's simple, right? It's just a little bit of PHP, a database. But it's what built WordPress. It's in fact what built Facebook. These are very powerful things and you have access to them. And you really, you know, it's fun. You should play with them. With that, that's, uh, that's actually my talk. So.